Alright everyone, welcome back to another late night here on the east coast of Canada. Stonekeep. Much to everyone's chagrin, I'm sure. Let me just configure my windows a little better there. Jeez. Try and get volume set good. It's always a problem when you play a recent game. And then, oh, sweet mercy me. So we're in the sewers. Looks like it's all about... Uh-huh. All just water. Excellent. At least we got a dwarf. Let's <laughs> don't keep the game so bad it's good. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Let's don't keep the game so bad. It has to be good because it costs so much. Let's just turn the uh, sound effects down. I think maybe. I hope that doesn't turn down the uh, voice audio though. But some of these snakes are a little loud. Could just be me. I mean, this water does look really good. Um, I actually I used to do video game programming uh, back in uh, grade eight, uh, grade nine, somewhere there, and uh, animating water like this was a lot of fun. Textures. <laughs> there you go, frost cookies. I was gonna continue doing work stuff, and then I I saw your little post there, like imagining this this poor Australian bent over, working his life out, and I was like, you know what? I I could help this. You know, I have the power to make a change in the world. I'm really glad we made a maze in the water. Where here's the problem, right? I cannot tell where the walls are here. At least in the dungeon, I have some semblance of what I'm doing. Oh well. Oh no, two snakes. That wasn't a good idea. I don't even want to throw items. Here. I'm just terrified of losing. The game of five hundred thousand dollar interest. Why can't I put my back? Oh, wow. Oh, we're getting ready to start grouting. Uh, grout is very necessary, but very not fun to do. Let's say that. So, interesting thing. Um, the dwarf is on the left here. That we bring up our handy dandy mirror. Um, you'll see. So, he's on the left. That means he only attacks enemies on the left side of the screen. Why that is, I don't know. Um... I think it's safe to assume then we can get two more party members, which is cool. He also attacks randomly. I think he just automatically swings on like a timer, but I'm not sure. There is something odd about this wall. I believe there is a mechanism for sliding it to the right, but I don't see the controls here. How can you tell that? Looks like a normal wall to me. Keen dwarven senses, my friend. Keen dwarven senses. Uh huh. Thank God, dwarves can advance the plot. Let's go ahead and mark that on my map. Uh, moving wall. That quill is so awesome. And George, you can't see anything. You know, I might be stepping in brown and squishy every single time I step. Possible to tell. It's also impossible to tell where you can turn left and right. So it's gonna be trial and error getting through here. I think the trick is to rotate the enemies so they always appear on the side of your um, companion. I'm really glad we made this level huge. Also, I just want to remind everyone this is not just a sewer, it is the water source for Stonekeep as well. So, this is our, our reservoir where we get our water to big red. <laughs> It's just me or those snake sounds extremely loud. It's probably just me. I often complain about the audio. I don't know why I do. Oh, jeez. Kim 
dwarves. That's my ass. Yeah. It's just there's a plaque that says dwarves. Hey, stupid! This is a door. Yeah, for sure. It's like that scene from Lord of the Rings. They're kind of loud. Okay. Thank you, and my yanks. Let's try turning it down like that and pray that sound effects actually affect it. <laughs> yeah, George, I, I said the same thing. When we came down here, I was like, hang on. I just did some mental math, and the dwarf should be dead. Oh, well. I don't know why the snakes sound like dragons, either, but... Can you do? Although, Zane, it's like that scene in Lord of the Rings where, uh... Everyone's trying to figure out how to get into Moria. And then uh, Frodo's like, Hey, Gandalf, what does the sign say again? And then Gandalf's like, Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh god, lots of enemies. Oh, we might lose the dwarf. Oh, jeez. That ain't good. Alright, time to go leave, I guess. <laughs> that's right, Breeze out the helmet that's sticking out of the water. I mean, if I was a dwarf, that's what I'd do, really. I'd just have a long straw at all times, just in case I had to go underwater. He's probably better off than Drake. So. Uh, dwarves in D&D &D had a uh, bonus constitution. And resisting poisons. Or you know. Okay, so this goes here. And there's an up path, which we'll have to check out when we get back. Alright. Uh -huh. <laughs> the horns are just straws. Pretty legit. You think the dwarf wears high heels, George? Maybe. Just slap that up. I'm really happy everyone can drink at the same time. Could have been really annoying. So, does anyone else know, like, crazy DOS games like this that, um, preferably not super long? Um,. Other pluses are voice acting, uh, FMV cutscenes. I love that. Um, but yeah, just like RPG stuff. So I, I have like a list of things uh, written down somewhere that I used to uh, enjoy or I've at least touched at one point. The problem is there's so many DOS games, like, there's, there's always some that slip through the cracks and you don't know about. Doesn't necessarily have to be DOS, mind you, it can just be an old older game. But I find they tend to be more endearing. <laughs> Farley got hit there, he was just like Ugh. I wonder if this is supposed to be Chris Farley actually. He died and came back as a dwarf. I assume for um a chance to increase his comedy skills. As fat people are funny, but midgets are even funnier. Well, good, we're actually in a maze. I'm so happy. Because, like, every single... Oh, I was gonna say, is that poop monster? No, it's just a slime. Holy crap. I keep forgetting the dwarf randomly throws out, like, exploding bombs. Oh my god. This is OP. I just gotta find out if he's using my bombs or not, because if he is, I'm gonna kill him. No, cool. He has his own bombs, he just randomly 
Oh, Origami. Don't just give me a list of DOS games. I I have a lot of DOS games. I know of many, but that's kind of like... It's not exactly what I meant. I was just wondering if you guys knew of any offhand. Oh, there's something in the water here. A helmet. Where do you have one just like it? So let's see. Maybe it's a special one, though. Poop helmet. Oh, well, it's not called Little People Origami. It's called People of Retarded Growth. Which is actually a politically correct thing to say. Oh. oh I don't think we can hit them like until they're coming out of the water or something, like. Oh, this is a fun encounter. Come on. Did it drop anything? Oh, I'm really glad items drop in this water and you have to pixel hunt. Well, you can't even pixel hunt. You just stick your hand in there and just hope you sort of see something. Did we miss a door back here? One more. Okay, did I just trip on an item? Oh, a cylinder. Right. We need that. Oh, maybe... That's what those cylinders were... Um, like, the holes were upstairs. Found those. <laughs> I don't have all the DOS games. I have a lot, though, right, got me. But it's one of those things, like, it's impossible, like, to look at a list of games and know what is, like, what. Um. We'll probably do Waxworks at one point. Like, is this a... I think that's a hole right there. I'm gonna have to go back and check. Waxworks is really fun, though. Well, actually, it's not fun. Um, but it's... It's really interesting to watch. It's kind of like a snuff film in that regard. Actually, I think that's very fitting for Waxworks. It is a snuff film, the game. Um, it's sort of like an adventure uh, title. Like this, kind of. Um, much more basic combat. Yeah, I was just guessing where we had to put the Morigami. It's an interesting game, though. It, uh, it's very short. I remember it only being like four hours long uh, for the whole game. But I also remember not being able to beat it, so I could be wrong. Because basically you play it in a series of... Uh, basically, if you think of Mario 64 or something, you have like a couple portals um, that you can choose from. And um, they're like exhibits at this wax museum, is the idea. Um, anyway, you can choose one of these. I think there's four of them. And, um... You have to beat them all, I think, to beat the game. Unfortunately, I've only ever managed to beat two. Um, one of them seemed like it was really short, though. I just couldn't figure it out. And the other one, I have no idea. I always died, like, on the first screen. But, um, especially for its age, it has some of the most graphic uh, video game deaths ever. Uh, which is interesting. And uh, back in the day, I used to do screenshot Let's Plays. And I did one for uh, Waxworks, up until I couldn't finish it. Back then, I was far too stubborn to use a walkthrough. I don't like using it now, but... God. Yeah. The only reason I use them now on stream is because, hey, I'm not afraid to admit that there's some games 
that I, I do get stumped on. And B, um, if I have people watching me, it's one of those things. Um, while I personally, I don't mind um, watching someone fumble around and try and figure something out. It is not something that bothers me. Fortunately, though, a lot of times when you watch something like that, like I'm watching um, someone play like an older game or something, and they're trying to figure out stuff, um, there's, you know, a cut. There'll be the next video or something. Or, oh, I'm going to finish up for tonight, guys, and try and figure this out. Unfortunately, if I do that on stream, um, like, if I'm only 20 minutes into my stream and then I get stuck in that rut, I mean, either I call it for the evening uh, and then just do it off camera, which is, A, less embarrassing, but it's just one of those things, like, you just miss out on um, the whole experience and it sets back a day because I don't have a whole lot of time. So, it's just kind of suck. Um, I'd rather just, you know, cheat a little bit. I just Google the exact thing I'm looking for and uh, try not to spoil anything. Like this key. Um, which, you know, it's a little embarrassing, I guess, that I couldn't find the key. I don't know how I missed it, but, uh, ah, well, it's not all that bad. Not sure what kind of relationship you guys think we have, but I, I honestly think we're a little family here. You know what I mean? And that's what I love so much about it. Um, definitely feels like we're, we're just a family, so it's it doesn't bother me none. If you see uh, the good times and the bad. Uh, speaking of my work, oh my goodness, it is going nuts. Um, it's one of those things I I have anxiety at times. Um, I'm, I'm actually a very shy person. Might not come across it, but I am. Um, cripplingly shy. But, I push past that. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Frost Cookies. Sometimes it's just not worth putting up with a gimmick. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, case in point. Now, luckily I'm very good at puzzles, but I realize that some people are not. And the puzzles at the very end of Realms of the Haunting, just very tacked on. Um, the, the whole thing in Belial's chamber, where you just have like 10,000 puzzles to solve. Um, if I wasn't able to just like fly through them, they, it's just a waste of you know, my time and your time trying to solve these things. When the rest of the game is not like that. Um, now, luckily, there was an item here. A dart? Okay, interesting. Don't know how snakes drop darts. Could be their teeth, I guess. Really, nothing else here? Well, I'd say that's the entire sewer, so we have to have missed something. Oh, time to pixel hunt. Now, Drake said, ow, my foot, when we stepped on the first cylinder. I would imagine if there was another one here, he would say a similar deal. Then again, who knows? Let's check the items. Hmm. A cylinder, yeah. That's all it says. I don't think I've missed anywhere. No. There's just the one moving wall. So I'm gonna go back and try try and stick the cylinder in one of those holes we found earlier um, on floor two. See if that maybe like drains the next level of the sewer and then we have to come back. I don't know. We'll see though. I also apologize to her. <laughs> Nothing in the sewers except silver crowns in here! Yeah, I love... Aw oh man, Kieran had such a voice actor. Alright, can we push this at all? Switch, maybe? No. Alright, let's go try draining it upstairs then. Oh, 
guess it gives us a chance to heal up actually a bit low. Tip, don't drink hydrochloric acid. It doesn't go down well. You sure? Hydrochloric acid. Is that HCl2? I think so. So where are those whole things? But how you doing, Brazil? It's been it's been a while, man. I see you pop in from time to time, but uh, I assume you're busy and we're playing things like Stonekeep, so <laughs> can't blame you. Ah. Okay. Can I take it out? No. Well. Hopefully that wasn't a puzzle. Oh, Brazilian has a silly walk? Are you making a Monty Python joke? Either way, I have proof. I was talking with a coworker of mine today, um, uh, Yashval, and um, Indians are raised so differently than uh, we are. The, their culture and everything is so fantastically different. It's it's crazy to try and explain. Did that work? No, oh, I went down the wrong way. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad you're still alive, Mr. Brazil. And comic relief is always welcome, although the chat is full of people that uh, think they're silly. So. Alright, so that did work. Excellent. Anyway, um, what I was saying, though, is... Uh, he was saying uh, what, what he likes to do, um, or what, you know, he, he was taught to do, rather. Um, which is sort of the same thing, if you think about it. But... Um, for like you know, you know, feeling better about your stuff, uh, yourself, and and you know, just not worrying about a situation, is to look in the mirror and image or imagine rather. I apologize. Uh, what you want to look like. Um, now the problem is Indians, because of their very different uh, language structure, it's uh, often a bit tricky, um, even for me to understand exactly what they're trying to say. You need to find me a parrot? <laughs> Only if it's dead. It's pining for the fjords. Master's toad grass that you be here. Die, stunty! Huh? Oh, okay. No way is he this big. Whoa, what? Like a giant one. We're just fighting one, right? Okay. I'm still afraid of throwing egg in here. But so anyway, he was saying too, like, imagine what you want yourself to look like in an ideal world or setting or something. Did he drop anything? Really? He didn't drop anything? It's very odd. And so, for example, um, he's saying to me, like, oh, well, you know, you're interested in business, right? I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very business-minded. It's not necessarily the same thing, but I'm very very good at it, yes. And uh, he's saying, so maybe you imagine yourself, you know, in a business suit with, like, a really expansive watch. And uh, No, I don't want any dead parakeets. Thank you, though, Origami. I appreciate it. Um, I'll set up a P.O. box and you can send me dead parakeets. How about that? But, uh, yeah, and he's saying, you know, expensive watch. And imagine yourself, like, with this really fancy car. And the thing is, like, even if I am, even if I was a business uh, businessman, and I was very, um, you know, well off, shall we say, I would not have any of those things. Like I, I'm not a fan of watches. I mean, they're nice, but they're not very useful for me. Um, a suit, you know, sure, but I wouldn't wear it unless I had to. I'm not, not a fan of uh, cars, so 
And yeah, that goblin, I luckily just took a regular goblin mid huge. That's cool, George. Basketball goblin. No, it's Zelfus the goblin, that's what it was. Anyway, it was just, it was just an interesting thing. Um, so I guess he, he just pictures himself um, in his sports car, because he's in love with cars. But you gotta remember, Frost Cookies, uh, when somebody here types, it has to go all the way around the world to get to you. So, what do you think about that? But I, I wouldn't worry about it. It's one of those things. Um, I can actually... Twitch has a, a new setting for broadcasters. You can enable uh, lower chat... Um, it's called lower delay. So I can, you know, basically knock it down to maybe like five second delay or something. Which is really cool. But um, it increases the chance of buffering. And I already lowered our, um, uh, you know, my video encoding below levels. I normally like to have it just so we can have uh, less buffering for people. Because I do worry about that. So, it, it, ultimately, to me, a 30 second delay is not going to kill me. And hopefully, not you guys. It's really cool, though, George, about the, the Guayus. Um. The majority of Indians that I uh, know are from uh, Gujarat, which is uh, on the west coast. It's a sort of trade capital back in the day. Not so much now. Anyway, got me thinking. We got talking about like dreams and all that stuff. Yeah, less buffering is, is far more important to me for us cookies than anything else. Um, which is one thing, actually. Um, I know I'm a smaller stream. And, uh, that's fine, but I would really like to, uh, become a Twitch partner just, just for two things. Number one, um, because I found out you can get emotes that, uh, you know, oh god, I don't even, oh wow, sorry, oh, hang on, fundamental math, how much HP I lost there. What the heck? Are you running away? Okay, so if Drake dies, you do die forever. Oh, no, no. Indian, I'm, I'm referring to um, people from India. How far back are we? Oh, just before we walk back. Alright, well, there's another trip. Um, like, here in Canada, we call them Native Americans. Um, the Aboriginal community. Just because, you know, we, we actually have a decent history with them, so... But yeah, <laughs> pocket your butt. Ten local monsters here. You went octopus on you. That's so crazy, though. But yeah, um, I was gonna say, sorry. I'd love to get, like, just, just a fun little emote or two, um, for the chat that we can just use and just have a good time. Um, but ultimately, the number one reason why, even though on the small stream, um, I'm gonna try and message Twitch and just, just try and talk him into giving me a, a little partner thing, is it would allow us to have a, a quality setting, which is my dream right there. That's all I care about. I wanna stream at a higher bit rate than I currently do, because I can. And I'm a, I'm a sucker for quality. But on the other hand, I would love for people to have the option to watch on just medium, which isn't going to affect games like this, but you know what I mean, um, something else. Especially people like Frost Cookies, who's mostly just listening to the audio and hanging out. Um, so, I, I love that. I'm, I'm going to see if I can talk to them. Because I know they, they have requirements, but... It's not an every case basis, so let's see what we can do. Um, but anyway, so I was talking with Yasha about my dreams. His dreams, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, he just loves cars, he wants to work on cars and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, 
How did I turn around there? I am bad at games. And I got thinking, and it's really hard, like, putting your dreams to words. You know what I mean? Um, certainly, as a kid, you have dreams, and those change, and then you mature and have dreams. Uh, when I was a kid, all I ever wanted to do was two things. Uh, 100 plus. Oh, congrats, yep, that's, and borrowed, um, um, technically, some reviews, no, 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 partnership gets you the, um, the, uh, encoding options. Okay, we're not going that way, that was Tentacle Monster. Um, so when I was a kid, I, I don't know, more than anything in the world, my, my hero, um, was Richard Garriott. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with him. I know, uh, Frost Cookies is. I'm not sure if he remembers, uh, who exactly. Well, yep, that's, that's interesting. Uh, we never found the greedy man. Uh, Wahooka is forever bugged. That's okay. Got this new yellow Lambo. <laughs> No, that's what jo or, um, Yashpal wants to do. That's Man, that's his dream. His dream is just to get a fancy car. That's it. He, he doesn't have any other aspiration. I mean, he, he wants to do stuff with cars, like, you know, um, he's currently going for an engineering. Uh, Richard Garriott, sorry, Frost Cookies. Um, he's the creator of Ultima. So. Um, oh god, no, not like this. Right. Yeah, it was my dream to be Richard Gary when I was a kid. I, I thought Ultima was the bee's knees, and I was always like, man, someday I'm going to make my own Ultima series, and I'm going to be like Lord British, and I'm going to be really cool, and uh, have a castle like he did. I, I didn't think I was going to ever have a castle, but that was my dream. Um, fast forward, and I become a massive film buff. Um, on top of, of course, like video games. So I did do, yeah. Oh well, that's partly my fault. But again, I was obsessed with this man. Really, um, really interested in him. He's, he's a very cool guy. He's done a lot of cool things. He's gone to space recently. Um, I know lots of Spanish, George. But yeah, um, so my other dream, aside from being Richard Garriott, uh, as the man, Lord British himself, was to, uh, become a, a like, a movie guy. I've always wanted to produce, uh, movies, be a director or something. I've done a lot of stuff in, like, uh, like, uh, like acting, I've done a lot of acting. But, uh, never, you know, big screen stuff or anything like that. Just, uh, little plays here and there, and I, I don't know, I love it, though. But, I don't really want to be an actor. Um, I, I just am very passionate about it, so I do it. Alright, I do really want to... Have we gone this way? Okay, no, not really. I do really want to make movies at some point in my life. Uh, I used to make them all the time in high school, but of course it's very different. What the heck? Well, that guy was scaring me. Felt a little bugged out. <laughs> oh, well that's nice, NY Yanks. Do you meet her at the door? Afuera? That's not up, I don't think so. I know Fuerte is strong. Um, fuer. It's also similar to the fire, so. 
It would be something along those lines, I think. Like a stronger word. Oh, it's out, really? Is this guy bought? Like, what was going on with him? Come on. Aw, oh, well, <laughs> that's still nice, Amway X. I always meet my girlfriend at the door if she comes home later than I do. Which is like uh, once a month, so. I don't have to often, thankfully. It's one of those things, it's just, it's just nice to feel, you know, appreciated, so. <laughs> not racist, no, you mean not sexist, George. Women aren't a race. <laughs> This uh, sewer got huge all of a sudden. Alright, I heard scary noises. You guys hear that, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at me! Solving puzzles. It's actually okay to be anti-feminist as well. <laughs> Women are not a race triggered. Atta boy, Yanks. Okay, so this is a secret room. There's gotta be something hiding in the water, right? Yeah, right there. Gotta be more than one healing herb. Don't mess with the game. Why would I find a secret room just for one healing herb? No way. That's it? What the heck? really disappointing. Like, finding a secret in a game is always just like, oh man, I'm so good, and you feel awesome about yourself, and then this happens. I don't know, maybe we need that room with the air flow. <laughs> That's really funny, you can see the enemy through the, uh, the wall there. Oh, they didn't think that went through. So, if we die, it's game over. If Farley dies, what happens? Yeah, we're gonna find out. Cause these goblins have a billion HP. Yeah. Come on, Farley. There you go. My ham goes good with sweet ones. Unless you have like a smoky hand. Well, actually, Borrowed, under here you can't see anything. You just have to spam. Uh, like, I just have to hold my mouse over the water and pray I find something. And I'll never know what I find. Oh, we got a lot of healing herbs. I guess I could use it. Mm. Wow, those grunt noises. Cider, there you go, yeah. But depends, it has to be like a honey ham as opposed to a, uh, a regular one. Also, dwarf eating is... That's terrifying. I never want to hear that again in my life. It's alright, Yanks. You're young. You're not a cook. <laughs> you don't have to worry about these things. Because I don't remember you being a cook. I could be wrong, though. Pardon me if I've offended you by saying that you can't cook. It's not exactly what I mean. Yeah, this is true. At least Farley has semi-regular eating noises. It's not pudding gargle. 
Pudding gargle should be a sound effect in every game. Okay, right, right here. Like you hear that audio go weird, right? You fudge! Congrats, man. So, oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, pardon me for getting off topic, guys. Uh, <laughs> grabs Kraft Macaroni. That's a Canadian. That is a Canadian right there. Also, Kraft Macaroni is no longer called Macaroni and Cheese, nor is it called Mac and Cheese. It has been rebranded to KD, which is what most Canadians call it anyway. But, um, yeah, hey, what do you know? <laughs> I can absolutely hear you say that, George. Just let me show you how to make cereal with milk, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Too spoopy. As long as you eat your liver with some farva beans, it's not gonna really matter. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah. So, one thing I, I've sort of fulfilled, like, a, a bit of a, a personal goal in my life is, you know, I've, I've always wanted to um, do movies or, or film or something, and um, the stream actually, it, it feels kind of like that, um, in, in some sense, because, granted, maybe it doesn't feel that way for you guys, but um, I used to stream a lot, like, eight years ago, um, and then, you know, seven years ago and six years ago. What's the D? Dinner. Craft dinner. Um, I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, apparently Kraft only has one kind of dinner, and it's mac and cheese. <laughs> well, borrowed... Yeah, I, I could tell you a story about that, but I'm not gonna... Uh, but I've, I've always felt like the stream, um, previous to this iteration of it, uh, with with you guys, I used to have a, a different community. Um, larger than this one, but what can you do? Uh, I prefer this one. Because um, back in the day, people were uh, a bit different, and of course, it was the younger kids that were watching the streams back then. Um, there's still some of them. We got Herpy and George, but you know what I mean. But um, the name Late Night Video... Uh, refers, of course, to you. I, I've, I've always seen the stream as like a, you know, when you tune into those late night TV channels, uh, you can't sleep. And I'm not sure how that is for you guys, but uh, where I grew up on a, on a farm in a very small town, um, we had like two channels that worked half the time. Uh, you can get some channels sometimes, but that's what it was. So these, these channels were just crazy. They were filled with really weird um, variety shows and stuff like that. So, I, uh, I've always seen it like that. Just some weird late night variety show. You, like, tune in and watch a guy play, uh, bad video games, as it were. I mean, I really enjoy them, bad or not. You know what I mean? That's objective, of course. But, you know, I, that's always how I've seen it. What is the age cutoff? <laughs> Uh, yes, actually, yep, that's, I had a, a bigger stream than this before. Um, when I, uh, I was streaming eight years ago, seven years ago, around then, I streamed a lot as I was, um, sort of just out of the high school phase. I think I might have been in high school at that point. Oh, I can't math. Seven. Yeah, so I was just at the end of high school, and then... I'm getting done. Um, anyway. I used to have somewhere around 100 concurrent viewers, which back then it was, uh, like 100 viewers was crazy. Um, because there was way less people using Justin TV, which is what it was then. Um, 
And I used to like watch, uh, you know, videos on uh, the stream. <laughs> Was it Drake? Yeah, I used to watch videos and stuff on stream, which obviously we can't do anymore because copyright and, you know, terms of service and everything have changed. But, um, I still see this as kind of a late night TV channel, and hopefully some of you still sort of see it as a similar thing, where you're tuning in more for the experience and just the, the fun than uh, the fact we're just exclusively doing video games. Um, not that I want to change doing video games. I love video games, and I plan to stream them. But, uh, yeah, I sort of, where I was sort of going with this is, I don't know, I was just thinking about making videos. And, um, I was just wondering what you guys kind of feel about, <clears throat> now there's a lot of people, um, like, if they have a YouTube account, they will... Yeah, I, I don't agree with that, uh, NY Yanks. But, I mean, there's a lot of people that make a, um, a YouTube account, and they will have, like, five different YouTube accounts. Uh, one for, like, this little thing they do, one for a subsection, and one for this, and... I don't agree with it. I think the playlist system, 110%, uh, fixes that problem. So, what I was, uh, curious as to... Um, how you guys feel about that? Obviously, it doesn't super affect you guys if you don't want to watch. Mother of God! The Kraken has been released. It hurts. Oh God! How do I? I have to run backwards to escape this damn thing. Hang on. <laughs> well, that's true, actually, Frost Cookies. I suppose you would. And that's fair. For the rest of the world, though, the non-Aussies, which. But that's another thing too is uh, the majority of people that watch me on YouTube um, come from like Croatia and stuff like that so goodness knows why that is but you know, <laughs> the analytics don't lie where are the rocks when we need them? well we have rocks uh, unfortunately if I throw them in here we might lose them forever uh, is it worth the risk? maybe Yeah, that's what I'm saying, NY Yanks. It's not going to affect you guys so much. I was just wondering what your thoughts on the whole thing were. Like, um, if you get really butt mad when people do that. I suppose it only really matters if you're subscribed to them. And, you know, um, you get way more updates than you should, because it's like crap you don't care about. But you still get that. Um, on channels that are about the same thing. <laughs> there you go, Graz. That was my plan all along. I'll simply uh, leave and come back and sound like I'm way cooler than I am. Oh yeah, we're dead. Okay. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Please! Please! Okay. It's running away. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm the same. I actually, anyway, Yanks, I subscribe to very few people. Um, I don't think I'm subscribed to anyone currently on YouTube. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much the same way there. Playing a dangerous game, boys. I think if I keep spinning, it can't attack. Yeah. There you go. There you go, guys. Don't worry, the cheese master is always here. The king of cheese. You either get good or you get good. <laughs> this is what everyone in the stream pukes. <laughs> Now the fun part is finding where I threw my... You killed me. Son of a bitch. Let's try it again. Let's heal up so we don't die in one shot. Use some big potions that don't actually heal that much, surprisingly. Where'd it go? 
Well, now it's now it's still able to attack. It unbugged itself, maybe. I don't know. As long as we keep spinning to the left, too, is uh, our dwarf can attack. So praise be Farley. So how much HP does this have? Like, is it killable? I don't know. Spinnerino. We gotta change directions now? Just for you, George. No, you're getting me killed. I'm going back the other way. Prefer Harvardi to do that? Oh, fair enough. Oh, we're actually cutting down the number of tentacles. I think that's the thing. Chop, chop harder. Oh. What? What, what even killed me there? Oh god, we're dead. Right with peanut butter, right on, dude. I'm quite allergic to peanut butter, but uh, try and enjoy. Let's try it again. The audio really bugged out. Imagine the strat in real life, I know. Drake and Farley just spinning off an epic combat with a squid monster that's also spinning. Yeah, the tentacle is body killed me. The squids have beaks, to be fair. <laughs> Good night, Rudy. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to die. Maybe you missed. Oh, well, that's okay for us. Alright, we chopped two off. Okay. Still there. Chop it. Keep chopping it. You know it's still there. Yeah? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Legit. Is it, is it possible to to kill it. I don't know. Like, when you get it to, like, no HP, it just, like, it is evil incarnate. What is the counter to such a monster? Like, it has to be slashing. We're using the right weapons. I don't think fire works well on it. Yeah, I was trying to stab the waterman. I hit it good. This time we'll, we'll run away after we kill it. Yeah. Yeah, please kill Farley. I really don't care about him. I have no idea where I lost my axe either. Throw a skull at it. Oh, man. I don't actually kill Farley though. He does damage, I think. Not confirmed. I'm wondering, like, if this is just an unkillable monster. Now, the only problem with that is, in this game, you cannot walk past monsters. You have to run backwards. Chop it. Okay, run. Running. Good. Good. Using a lot of heals, but probably worth. What's up, George? You got a plan? No. All right, where's the fire? It's the fireball, fireball. I didn't do it. Allison Road gameplay. I mean, I, I looked at some Allison Road stuff. Try the skull. No.
So is that it? <laughs> oh, frost cookies. Oh, oh. What the heck? Did you see that? Like, I went forward and... What was that? Why did that happen? What the heck is that? What is that about? Whatever. Um... Okay, I'm really lost, guys. Also, I have a feeling like once you kill this thing, it's it's unkillable. And I've lost my throwing axe. I'm really sad about that. I think it's over here, though. Oh, there it was. I saw it for a second. No, you bastard! My throwing axe. Where was it? Squid is breaking the dimension, yeah. Is it? No, next one. Play this game. Throw an axe. Is it right here? <gasps> Saw for a sec. You guys see that? Where? Got it. Still keep walking to Japan. There's no land in the sewers. Only death. And whenever, like, that little blob touches you for an extended period of time, you just die. We might have scared it off, though. Like, I think so. And there was only one of them. Which is nice. Also, I think this is a door here, right? I think so. Also, I put you really close to my keyboard. I hope you enjoyed that. That's true. We are working on draining at Grizzillion. So, we just need another cylinder. Which I'm sure is just further down one of these two tunnels, but we're going to go back and heal. So there's, um... Not a lot of healing items in the game, we just used a bunch trying to kill something unkillable. Which is the definition of insanity. <sighs> but how is everyone doing tonight? out of curiosity. I feel like we've been playing Dirty Bomb recently. Which, you know, um, Zelfus came back, I wanted to play some Dirty Bomb. But uh, when I play Dirty Bomb, I don't have as much time to interact with you guys as I'd like. Just because it's hard playing a first person shooter, and commentating, and reading chat. Which granted, I don't really commentate so much, you know what I mean. person. right path or the left path is the right one. It's Phantom Player, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's awesome, Borrowed. Um, aside from work being crazy, it's the same old, same old. Work hard, uh, huge amount of transit, don't sleep much, and then... Uh, Hop on the stream with you guys. Which is always good. Huh, I'm talking to Zelfus about having him uh, back over to Canada. So that's exciting. Um, he was over here for three weeks um, back in December, January. Oh, cool, our other cylinder. Oh, 
Well, that was it. I honestly thought there was going to be more enemies there. So I assume we should drain it now. Which unfortunately requires going all the way back. So what'd you guys make for your BBQ? You know, so much stream is spew salt everywhere. <laughs> eh, close enough, Herpy. I mean, there's saltier streams out there, but you get your daily dose of sodium right here. In all fairness, though, I, I don't think I'm so bad. Just when I play shooters, just because I'm I'm really not that great at them, um, and often I I'm, I'm very much a stickler for balance. Um, goodness knows why I play competitive gaming at all these days. Um, but it is what it is, and often I find shooters are not... <laughs> they're probably the least balanced things out there. Salt, black pepper, cyan pepper, not bad. Sauteed onion. Pretty good. Okay, well, back to how we were talking about me, uh, you know, wanting to maybe do something that wasn't a game at some point. Um, I am a very good cook, and I would love to show you guys the definitive way to cook chicken, especially in a curry. Um, not sure how you guys would feel. Wow, allergic to pepper, get out of here, man. Oh, peppers or, like, black pepper? Oh, wow, cool. Now this place is actually in dungeon. Which I appreciate. Garlic powder is pretty amazing, yeah. cooking stream. You don't want me to do a cooking stream now, Herpy. You're gonna be gone. What was that? What is that? Oh! Oh, you! That's what it was, guys. What the heck? No. No. Stop. Cooking stream for the hundredth follower? Oh, okay, that's cute. I could get behind something like something special like that. It's one of those things though, I don't know. I don't know so much about cooking and streaming. That's one of those things, honestly. Oh. You know how to make teriyaki chicken? Seems kind of uh, a Spanish thing. It's not, but. <laughs> Damn, we just leveled something up, too. It's one of those things, honestly, I think people being able to stream anything as opposed to just uh, gaming is a very welcome thing. Um, because, again, back when I started streaming, it was the, the Twitch TV, or the, um, the Justin TV days, and it was very much spin with them. Yeah, we can try it. I'm not sure if that's going to work on this. Oh, maybe. It might be on something, Yanks. Oh, man, yes. Problem is, if it gets a hit off, I die. That's okay. 
It's like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> but, um... You know, back in Justin TV day, it was all about... Like, gaming wasn't even the focus. Uh, there was a few people that get, uh, did gaming on Justin TV, but for the most part, it was everything else. And that's, uh, I think, a good thing. Spin me right round, baby. Right round. Well, 10,000 HP later. Your Steam name is King Jabba? Yep, that's you fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, I knew a cat we called Jabba. Get dunked. Better be something good. Whatever that is. Do we heal? Should we heal? We should probably heal. <laughs> George, believe it or not, I did know the song before Meat Spin. Believe it or not. I don't know how you feel about this, but um, certainly I'd love to see any uh, photos you take in China. I'm always curious to see other places in the world. And it's always more interesting when it's something personal. Again, you can argue about our relationship, but uh, you're definitely someone that I've spoken to a lot, so we feel pretty, pretty close. Um, but if you want to do like a slideshow um, on the stream and uh, tell everyone else about it, not sure how comfortable you feel again, but uh, hey, let me know, man. <laughs> You've been spinning for ten seconds. <laughs> well, NY Yanks swapping floppies. <laughs> I don't copy that floppy. That is, oh yeah, I definitely take pictures of the food, man. The only Chinese food I've cooked myself is Chinese Manchurian, uh, but it was an Indo-Chinese blend. Um, they're basically vegetarian meatballs, and you prepare them with, like, a soy sauce. Um, it's pretty good, actually. Oh, I... Well, speak of the devil, I have my phone um, plugged into the computer right now. So if you want, I could uh, show you a picture of that. Yeah, origami, like, the thing is, though, back in the day, there used to be everything but gaming. Uh, in fact, gaming was seen as illegal. Um, almost. You know what I mean? So, it, that's why I like. I, I really do enjoy that. I really hope Twitch goes back in that direction. Discover the magic of dark soy sauce. I have not. Tell me more. Is it something like teriyaki sauce? Oh. Got a skull. Okay, some magic mushrooms. Yeah. Well, Drake is all about the drugs. Illegal food sorcery. <laughs> you get banned in real life if you use dark soy sauce. Sauces either. Well, it looks like the giant guy did drop some stuff. It's just impossible to see. I think that was the giant one. Caramelized soy sauce. Less salty. Uh, hmm. Well, I will look into it, but less salty in soy sauce. I'm not sure how I feel about that.
Oh, hey, now that we've drained it, maybe we can see an item in the secret room. Oh, there's a chest the whole time. Yeah, right, you know. Well, it's locked. Interesting. Uh, what's this thing? Nope. Maybe, uh, here. I swear I looked everywhere for stuff there. You prefer creative hot? Get out of here. Hot is awful. And your winter only gets to be like, what, 15 degrees? I guess actually I, I have to know what this new item is. We oh, got our strength up. Cool. Um, a well, green mushroom, yeah. A marble statue. Interesting. I love the fact. Um, oh, I we got a statue for killing the monster, which is interesting. But I I love the fact this game. Obviously, you had the pretty crazy imagination. Um, back in the day, the, guess what things were. Now, the graphics in this are a lot better than my Atari 2600. That's beside the point. Um, but I love the fact that you can just like look at the book and be like, this is what it is, in case you had a lot of trouble figuring that out. Okay. Um, and I was talking about 30 degree, or 15 degrees uh, Celsius. Frost cookies, we get to like negative 30 something. Sometimes you hit the uh, the negative 40s and oh boy. All right, let's see what's up ahead. Where am I? Sewer access. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Uh, wow, completely unnecessary. Oh, that's low main M E I N origami, and it's not spaghetti at all. Uh, but that's fine. I'm sure you just made Herpy really angry. Why can I not walk forward here? Okay, seriously. Oh, I'm getting spooked. I cannot walk forward fast this point. Can I walk backwards? No. Is there something on the ground I'm not seeing? No. That's crazy, dude. In ninth... It's insane. Um, I think we throw an item. I have 44 swords. I don't know, swords might be useful. Uh, let's throw a sword. So the sword still moves forward. But I cannot. Interesting. Well, George actually, uh, Zelfus was from uh, Los Angeles, so he hadn't either. Yeah, I tried moonwalking, man. That is really weird. I have no idea why the game will not let me walk back through the area I came from. And uh, we couldn't walk backwards. I tried. <sighs> that is peculiar. To say the least. That's actually um, the worst thing about cooking. Is when you try and a new recipe and you don't know if you cooked it right but there's no way to find out oh no we frick not the snake room again play this game The next door. The wall door. Yeah. Alright. Drop 
opposite. We're on our way. Australia is the hardcore mode of living, I agree with that. They have the biggest monsters, the scariest uh, ghettos, and uh, the heat, man. Jeez. It was never seen snow. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm a big fan of Indian dishes, Boros, but uh, I will cook anything. It's very similar to Cali. Okay, cool. We can see where we cut its tentacles off. I like that. It's interesting. Why don't you just give me that from the beginning? Give me the key, don't you just carry it. I can't trust you with the only copy of the key. What the heck, Farley? You're back on the watch list. I'm gonna make just an assumption. There's literally nothing telling me to do this, but I'm making the assumption you put the monster in. I mean, that looks good. Lo, here is the secret path. Behold, the underlands. So you know that monster that we fought when we had the cheese because it. Uh, it like one shots you almost. Yeah. Apparently you have to kill that to progress the game. What? He's only temporary, Bacata. Any time Yeah, where are we now? I know not. Records of the clan show nothing here. Any ideas? Only one. I'll take it easy, yep, that's Only one. Bees. Bees. But seriously, I, I hear bees. Um, maybe they're just... God. This is a fairly accurate simulator of fighting of bees in real life. So, get off me out of here. Oh god. I'm just, oh, I think we just run. I think we just run and we do not enjoy our entire stay here. What's in the... Another dart. So many darts. Alright. We killed an inanimate object and we leveled up agility and health. I can't complain. Giant slug word demon. <laughs> Oh, are you talking about the tentacle monster board? Because we, we killed that. Don't worry. Also, I love how you throw arrows in this game. I keep holding out. We're good. What? Okay. I keep holding out that we're going to find a uh, bow. But... Look at my new Minecraft tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Say we're going to be uh, expanding the mine. Uh, we haven't really, uh, finished digging it yet. If, if you come this way, we, uh, we had the stream working on this earlier, because I'm, I'm far too lazy to do it myself. Um, we, we, we got tech at working, but not all the mod packs installed, so unfortunately the graphics are a little bit bad. 
Um, over here, you'll see where we had the creeper uh, kill one of our uh, one of our guys. I'm not, I'm not sure who died here, but uh, we're gonna take his pickaxe, uh, also his gem. Uh, you always gotta watch out for lava when you're down this low. But uh, it's worth it for. Oh, you freaking serious? Oh yeah, we got a pickaxe. I almost got really angry. It's like not like this game. This weapon requires two hands. Well, it's a pickaxe. It doesn't require hands. It requires just the, uh, you know, force of will, strength, endurance, manliness. Whatever Farley gets to be a pick, man. Well, he won't do it. Frickin' dwarf, man! Take your, like, pull your own weight. Oh yeah, Lancelot. Oh yeah, don't remind me of the Quake Slug. Oh, is that what a pickaxe looks like in real life? Can we see that again? No, one more time, please. Oh, okay. Hmm. This is actually a Minecraft simulator. Wow. Get my dwarven sword back, huh? Please. Please! Alright, excellent. <laughs> it's already over budget, give it a break. Nobody wants to go to Australia. That's why we put them there in the first place. What the? I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. What is that thing shooting at us, first off? Second, what? What am I watching right now? Billions of taxpayer dollars. And this is what we get. I don't think that those do anything. Throwing axe. Down the left side. Okay. Calm down. I... The sad thing is, we're on, like, the third level of the game. Like, not the third floor, but the third level. And, uh, they've already run out of ideas. I don't know, maybe Farley's, like, part of the Dwarven Illuminati. And they're trying to, uh, deny existence of mines. Cue the X-Files theme. The only thing criminal about Australia is the uh, housing prices. Hey, Hello. Stump! It's time to hurt somebody! Yeah, I'm looking... Uh, I'm looking... Forward to it, Stump? <laughs> yeah, George! Okay, first off, they one-shot us. Second off... These guys remind me of two things. Number one, they remind me of, like, Bill and Ted. I don't know why. Just like... Hey, Bill, it's totally time to, like, stomp somebody. Excellent! And two, they remind me of, um, Monty Python, when they meet the three-headed giant thing. Whatever. Well, if you walk near them, it, it wakes them up. Maybe our poison dart will hurt him. Hey, Stump! It's time to hurt somebody! Yeah, I'm looking... Okay, well, they kill you from across the zone. I'm actually very curious as to how far away they can kill you. Does that work him up? Punch your barrel. Go back to sleep. Is this how you're supposed to do this? Hey, stump! 
wonder if I can... Like, if I throw an explosion, if it will damage them or not. Well, they're still sleeping from that. Uh, yeah. Not sure if that's how the game's supposed to be played, but... Oh, okay. Did not expect to find that in there. Okay. Consider your puzzle solved, son. Clearly the only way to sneak past a sleeping ogre is to explode everything. Oh well. I wonder what the actual puzzle was. We may never find out. Oh, that's a throggish key. Can I use these things at all? Oh, okay, that heals me. Uh, well, knowing me, it's gonna run out of charges, too. Let's try using this orb and never try that. Yeah, maybe not the brightest ogre in the game. I, like, I seriously, I, I'm curious as to what the actual puzzle was for that now. But, uh, I'm sure we'll find that out eventually. Maybe it's to, like, attract the bees to him? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna make the silly assumption that... This out of place rock has to be mined. Crafted. Here we go, boys. Maybe I stand on it. Oh, come on. Like, that's gotta be something, right? No? I don't know. Looks like something to me. Oh, I fell for the old... There was a hole right in front of me, but I couldn't see it when I was walking trick. It's my favorite trick. Hmm. It's always nice... Who is this ogre? <laughs> like, freaking Shrek, get out of here. I ain't got time for this. I would love to, like, edit this game. So that when future generations play it. All they hear anytime that guy appears on screen is just like horrible, like distorted, crazy loud, like get out of my swamp! <laughs> just everyone just like, no, please. But like, who is he? He was sleeping. How did he just woke up? Hello. We walk backwards fast, maybe? Pop. And well, then we just climb up the rock. Good job, Stump and Dump. You really think a rock was gonna stop me? It didn't. Okay, well, don't fall in the hole. When you... oh, this is awkward. 
Uh, okay. Well, how do I cross the hole then? Don't. Okay, hang on. If I can climb up the rock to this side, why can't I climb up to the other side? What the heck? Well, I mean, we figured out what this rock is for. Unfortunately, now it's like how. Like, how do I cross this? I don't know. Alright, I guess we figure that out later. Maybe it's on the other side of Stumpy. Maybe he moved. I don't know. Oh, we can't. Oh, is he sleeping again? Hey, Stump! It's Wait, time why did you, to why'd you wake somebody. up now? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking to. Well, apparently now they wake up. I might have act. I, oh, I hate to say this, guys. I might have broke the game by stealing that chest. Oh well. We'll uh. I don't know. I don't imagine there being like secret switches in a mine. Alright, well there's still a lot of stuff to explore here, so... What? Too spoopy. So you guys remember Wahooka? Uh, I think he was supposed to appear in the, uh, the sewers as well. So I think the game is completely bugged on his account. And yeah, good night, Grizzlian. Take it easy, bud. Uh, I should probably stop this soon, actually. Oh, wow. Do I have to start from the top? Okay, so... What have we learned? Uh, you can't mine this specific thing that you could mine before. Okay, interesting. This game is teaching me so much. Oh yeah, Allison Road. I've already... I've already watched the trailer for that, um, on Steam. What was that thing? Oh, it was a boat. Let's get them! Let's not. I, I have a head. The heck? Did someone throw a rock? What even happened there? Oh, he is. Ah, sure. Well, our dwarf doesn't want to mine. I swear, if Farley turns out to be Darth Vader, I'm gonna get angry. Lord Cool Whip. Well, the thing about Australia is, like, everyone is, like, I mean, it's like all places of civilization, everyone's crowded around the water. But, like, they're all crowded around the water. Like, there's very few parts of Australia that are habitable. This room will quiet the target's actions. Oh, that's how we're supposed to... Oh, we got magic? <gasps> Am I a wizard? Put that in the scroll pile, please. I must examine it later. I really hope we didn't break the game, though. 
Uh, and like now can't sneak past him even with quiet. If this was uh, Vampire the Masquerade, it'd be called Quietus. Because that's what the um, clan of Assassin. The heck? No! Right, what is even happening, video games? Actually, you guys can eat a little bit of this. Well, that. What a screenshot. I'm just gonna take a picture of that, actually. It makes it look like some crazy action game. Look at this. Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty 7. I don't know what, what we're at right now, but ain't got nothing. I'm a wizard now. Where's my wine valve ask? <sighs> Gotta get crunk. You guys coming? Alright, I'll fight you like a man. No, actually that hurts. Okay, back back to cheesing. Wait. These aren't arrows, they're bolts. I love how you don't even get like a bow, you, you start getting bolts for a crossbow, which I mean whatever. Australian traveling or staying traveling? Any criminal history? <laughs> Chop it! Kill a mushroom, get epic combat victory music. Yes! No, no, no. Oh, almost forgot my uh, arrow. Alright, let's tap these so I remember to check them out later. And, uh, remember to put on the map. It's, uh, George and Forge. I forget their names. Stump and Bump or something. <laughs> That's hilarious, Yanks. I love stuff like that. Here's a question. So, I mean, I already know the answer, I'm sure. Oh. oh you think you're good? I need more arrows, please. I have a collection. Well, I'll do this all day game. How much you want to give me? Oh, you fool. You know not what you've done. So I learned a rune, but do I know magic yet or no? I guess so. What is this? So. How do I cast it though? Oh man, I feel like we missed something about the game. Well, this sword's awesome, actually. Oh, hey! Fire looks trustworthy. Seems to be strong, slightly agile, and healthy. The skill of the hammer's good, and you skilled an axe and shield. Okay. Dear Diley, I fought a really hard fight today. Sincerely, Drake. Cool. Oh. The dwarf's built a drain system in the stewards beneath Stone Keep. You know that. That's it? Okay. How do I cast, uh... Oh, right there? No. 
Okay, so I, I have a rune. How do I cast rune? Oh, maybe I need my quarter staff. Like, maybe we need to find out how to cast them? I don't know. Alright, there's our staff. Or stave, if you're one of those people. And I hope you're not one of those people. Okay. Uh, yeah, how do I shot web? Alright, game's broke. We're clearly missing something. Because I was supposed to get that first. Of course, maybe I was supposed to go back over there and figure out the rest of it and have Wahooka say, Ooka Booga. All you gotta do is cast the spell, Drake. You had it in you the whole time. You're a wizard, Harry. What? So why do I keep hearing that freaking Hang on, there's gotta be a secret wall. Where do I hear it? Somewhere here? Yeah, like right here. Oh! Yeah, you think you're funny? No mercy. I mean, you gave me a lot of arrows, and I appreciate that, but... This is a very slow execution. We actually did get a, a freaking crossbow. Awesome. What's that? Okay, that looks like poop. Okay. So we gotta equip the, the coral. Oh my goodness. I have someone to store all my crappy bolts and arrows and stuff. Yeah, rune staff, huh? I play RuneScape. You don't need one of those. I mean, you do actually in RuneScape. I wonder, I wonder what I can put in here. Oh, this is going to take a while. Let's do it this way. A little easier. I wonder if I can put all my arrows as well, or just uh, crossbow holds. Were the arrows actually just for throwing then? That's hilarious. in. So that is only for crossbow bolts. I guess we could have missed a, uh... Hmm. So let's try this out. Oh my god, Call of Duty is real. Now in real life... Can I shoot without having them there? No. Oh my god. We do actually have the legit equip the, uh, the thing in our offhand. Which, if you're holding it in your offhand, I don't know how you're reloading, but... Damn, we're out of beer. Where'd I put my, uh... Well, that's annoying. There's my shield. Oh, was there bad frame tear? I think I read that origami, but I was like... I thought you were talking about something else. I was like, there's no way. I have to change my quality settings again. <sighs> All right. What does this do? Okay, this is how he locked himself in to shoot us with. I mean, that's cool though. Hey, look, guys. Now we can really be Robin Hood.
Alright, either way, I know I just saved, and I'm sure I annoy some people with OCD, but anyway. I am off for the evening. Um, not sure 100%. <laughs> oh baby, a triple, yeah. Uh, off to bed. Uh, you all have a nice night. Um, I'll just hang around for like a while and like chat with you guys a little bit uh, in um, just the chat itself. But uh, yeah, take it easy everyone and hopefully you all have a nice night. And again, we'll be back tomorrow. More stone keep, more good times. Oh, pardon me, Ed. I'm really sorry. <sighs> have a nice night, guys. Yeah, no, no V-Sync for sure. <laughs>